How Cell Phones Have Changed History by Bryn Braswell, Christina Savusas, and Priya Singh. Different Definitions of the Cell Phone Dictionary.com defines a cellular phone as a mobile telephone system using low-powered radio transmitters with each transmitter covering a distinct geographical area. UrbanDictionary.com says the cell phone, one of the greatest things to come out of the 1980s, is one of the new millennium's most popular trends. Cell phones provide communication from almost anywhere, like in a mall, on a bus, in school, or on an airplane, or even while driving. But our definition of a cell phone is a new hip device that allows us to communicate, text message, call, take pictures, record videos, surf the web, and download music. Breaking a cell phone. Here we have a cell phone that's going to be broken by Bryn. This is the inside of the cell phone. This is part of the inside of the cell phone that we broke. Inventors of the cell phone. Martin Cooper, the inventor of the cell phone, placed his first call on April 3rd, 1973. He was the manager of Motorola's communication system. The first person he called was his rival at AT&T's Bell Labs in New York. Nathan B. Stubblefield helped with the invention of the cell phone. In 1892, he performed the first broadcast of the human voice using a wireless telephone that was attached to the ground. In 1898, he put a patent on the electric battery. The history of the cell phone. The first cell phone, now nicknamed the Brick, weighed two pounds. Also, it only offered a half hour time for talking until the cell phone needed to be charged again. The first cell phone was sold for $3,995. You would think that people would not want to buy this phone because it was bulky and overpriced. But actually, in 1984, people lined up to buy the first cell phone, right when it hit the stores. This process of getting the cell phones in stores took over a decade. This is the old cell phone with the new cell phone. Earlier, the cell phone used to be only used by police officers in patrol vans. Back then, they were called car phones, and they were not convenient due to their big bulky size. Also, the reception was unreliable and had a very low quality. Alexander Graham Bell wanted the greeting of a phone call to be used with ahoy instead of hello. Ahoy, ahoy. How cell phones have changed our lives for the better. The cell phone was an innovation in history for many reasons. One reason is that it made communication easier and faster. Nowadays, people can communicate anytime and in any place. When children are not with their parents, communication is needed to help keep children safe and out of trouble. I'm going to show you how easy it is to call someone. Hello? Hi. How easy it is to send a text message. Open the phone. And type your message. Hello. Send. One new text message. Cell phones have also helped many people with multitasking. Now adults can work from home if they need to be with their children. Or if they are just making a quick errand, they can still run to the grocery store and be on the phone with the office. Also, on some phones, Parents can set up a special GPS feature that tracks their children and makes sure that they are supposed to be where they are. Cell phones have made our world much more convenient. Also, there are three times the amount of cellular phones worldwide than computers. But sometimes you need to hang up, on, hang up the cell phone and just enjoy the day. In 2001, transportation statistics said that about 120 million Americans were subscribed to a certain cell phone company. This was a very big change from 1991. In 1991, only 7.6 million Americans were subscribed to a cell phone service. Even though talking on the phone while driving is not the best thing to do, 
139 thousands of the calls that people make on the phone while driving are emergency phone calls. More lives are saved now using cell phones because the emergency response time has decreased. Also, when a car breaks down, a person can easily call a mechanic or someone to pick them up. Friends and families often call each other when there is traffic in a specific area to tell them not to come that way. I am on top of the world, just like how the cell phones on top of the world in the economy, because everyone needs a cell phone to help communicate with other people. How cell phones have changed our lives for the worse. Having cell phones has changed our lives for the better and the worse. Now people are getting in more accidents because they are text messaging or talking on the phone while they are driving. Cell phone distractions cause about 2,600 deaths and 330,000 injuries in the United States every year. Also, teenagers have been caught sending racy pictures of themselves, and this could lead to being in trouble with the law. Hackers are beginning to hack into some cell phones that use windows. Cell phones cause irritability and mood swings with young people if they use the cell phone frequently. The iPhone. One of the coolest phones on the market at this time is the iPhone. The iPhone is a touchscreen phone with many options to it. Next, we are going to interview the iPhone. Even though you may think the iPhones don't talk, we think differently. They do. The impact of the camera phone. Do you remember when the students at Virginia Tech were shot? Some of the people in that room took a video with their mobile phone and sent it to people around the world. The inventor of the camera phone, Felipe Kahn, never thought that the camera phone would help this much. The reason that Felipe Kahn invented the camera phone was because he wanted people to be able to see his newborn baby. Then, about 10 years later, about 41% of Americans had a camera phone in their house. Even Felipe Kahn said, with, the, with this kind of a device, you're going to see the best and the worst of things. The good things that a camera phone has given us is photo caller ID. Also, in the London bombings, people there took quick photos with their camera phones. A bad thing that a camera phone has done is given teenagers options to do when they are bored 